My name is Dr. Chris Rose from Sent Into Space, and we're excited to be working with YouTube to bring you an exclusive sneak peek into their new sci-fi show, Origin, by sending a laptop into space and filming its journey in 360. This will be a close collaboration effort between our engineering, design, and operations teams, as we'll be using cutting edge design and manufacturing technology to progress our bespoke payload. In order to house the laptop and our 360 camera system, we've developed a hybrid structure using carbon fiber composite and 3D printing technology. This is going to secure the entire setup as it completes its journey into space. In preparation for the launch of the laptop, we're using state-of-the-art climate simulation technology to ensure we know where this payload's going to be throughout the entire flight. So it's the morning of launch, and in just a few moments, the team will have finished their final preparations, then we're headed for launch site. We are going to be using a huge hydrogen balloon to take our laptop into space. The buoyancy from this gas is going to take our equipment through the stratosphere, crossing the boundary into near space, where it will float above the Earth before the balloon can ultimately burst and the parachute can bring the assembly nice and safely back down to Earth. We want to monitor the laptop's location throughout the flight in order to make sure it maintains the expected course and so that we can recover it as soon as possible once it's landed. We're using a dual tracking system with satellite and radio communication systems so that we can ensure we have live positional updates throughout the entire flight. Now we've calculated the exact amount of gas we need to take the laptop at a constant ascent rate of 5 meters per second. Now at peak altitude, that's 135,000 feet above the Earth, we are going to be above 99% of the atmosphere by volume. The balloon will expand to bigger than a two-story house. We're going to have temperatures as low as minus 65 degrees Celsius, and at this altitude we will get the blackness of space, the thin blue line of the atmosphere and the curvature of the Earth presented beautifully behind the laptop. Okay, team, this is it. Do we have payload communication established? All set. Dr. Baker, gas volume verified? Check. Okay, mission control, do we have all clear from air traffic control? All clear. Okay, team, we are go for launch. The laptop is rising as expected. We've done our simulations and our calculations correctly. We're now on the road and it's important we stay underneath the payload as closely as possible, both to maximize the signal we're getting from it, but also to minimize any delays between the landing and the recovery. So the balloon has burst and the parachute has successfully deployed. We've updated our descent simulations and we now have a revised projection of the final stages of the flight. The payload has landed at our predicted landing site and this is as close as we can get by car. So we're heading out on foot and we're going to get our hands on that payload. We have our hands on the laptop and the camera. They both look fantastic. All that remains is for us to head back to headquarters and look at the footage.